So Munfish, the developers of Atomic Heart, released a brand new combat trailer that's frankly insane. It's awesome. Anyways, in this video, we'll break down that video and take a closer look at all the new enemies, weapons, and abilities they showed off. Hey guys, this is Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back, and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you guys all for your likes, your shares, your comments, all your support. Definitely appreciate it. And if you're new here and you're interested in Atomic Heart, Stalker 2, The Callisto Protocol, Evil West, hit that subscribe button for more content. Now to start out with guys, I have a little bit of bad news and a little bit of really good news. The bad news is that Atomic Heart has been pushed back to winter 2023. Now honestly this doesn't come as a shock to anyone because of the environment we're in. However, there is some really good news that Atomic Heart did get a publisher in the form of Focus Home Entertainment. So to me that signals that they're getting close to being completely done with this game. And the delay is potentially only, you know, three to six months. So that means the game, in my opinion, would be pretty close to being done. And if you haven't seen the combat trailer, when you see it, you're going to be like, yeah, I can understand why they want to make sure this game is right when they put it out. Well, anyways, let's take a look at the combat trailer in full. And then afterwards, we'll slow it down and we'll check out all the different abilities, weapons, and enemies they revealed.
Now to start out with, first we have the lightning gun, and it looks like it has a charge attack, and also it looks like something's throwing a giant saw blade at us, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. The first ability they showed off here is freeze. Another ability they show off is telekinesis, In this next scene, we see telekinesis plus a firearm. Here we have telekinesis combined with freeze. And in this clip, he actually swaps from telekinesis and freeze, but he also swaps from a firearm to a melee weapon. So it looks like we're going to have presets that we can set up here so we'll be able to experience more fluid combat. Next, they show off telekinesis for looting, which I guess will save time. Another new ability they show off here is lightning. In this next scene, we have lightning comboed with telekinesis and then comboed with freeze. Here we have lightning plus a special melee attack. And if you're unfamiliar with Atomic Heart, essentially you're gonna be able to mod your melee weapons in some strange and interesting ways. In this next scene, we have lightning with an AK, so you can actually use them both at the same time, like one of my favorite games, Bioshock 2. Here we have another new ability, Polymer. And Polymer is a key component of Atomic Heart. It sounds like it's kind of like Atom in Bioshock where it's just pretty much in everything. And finally, another new ability they show off is a Shield ability. Next, let's take a look at the melee combat and the different elements of it in this trailer. Now, according to the developers, and I've been following this game since it was announced in 2018, it sounds like their melee combat is going to be Souls-like in that you're going to have a dodge meter and a stamina meter, so it's going to add depth and consequences to melee combat. The first thing we see is melee with an axe, and it looks like he has polymer on his axe, so he does more damage. In the next scene here, we have a melee weapon with a special attack. And again, we're going to be able to modify these weapons to do all kinds of weird stuff. Again, in this scene, we have a melee weapon with polymer. Here we have the melee weapon they showed off in an earlier trailer, I believe last year or the year before, where you were fighting... I hope I'm pronouncing its name right, Plish or something. Anyways, he's this giant black goo monster, and this is the weapon they showed off in that boss fight. Here we have something really interesting, and to me, at first I thought it was just hacking, but afterwards he takes it and just throws it on the ground. I'm thinking this is maybe a stealth kill mechanic in the game. Well, anyways, in this next clip, we have these unique robot enemies, which to me are amazing but we also see a combination of both lightning, here we have special melee, and finally telekinesis, which looks like, again, I, I think of Bioshock 2 again, it's one of my favorite games, but you have that fluid transition between your abilities and your powers. Well, anyways, moving on to the next category, I'm gonna call this unique enemies. In this first clip, we have a boss called Belyash, 
here we see the polymer ability and finally the lightning ability to put a good stun on him. The next clip we have is another boss called Yoz. Here we see the pistol and then the AK in action. In this clip we see a charging enemy where we see it looks like a block mechanic or something. Here we actually see a robot using polymer against us and we also get to see the strafe and jump mechanics. In this clip we see boss number three, Ivy. Here we see some unique enemies and the pistol in action. Here we have boss number four, Rosa, with a rocket launcher and also demonstrating the dodge mechanic. Here we have boss number five, Natasha. And in this clip, we also have Natasha and we also see Polymer on a melee weapon again for extra damage. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the new gameplay? What do you think of all the abilities and weapons? Let us know what you think. For me, after watching this combat trailer, I'm starting to wonder what exactly Atomic Heart is. As I said earlier, I've been covering this game since 2018 when it was announced, and it seems like it's been evolving over time from basically a utopian world slow tactical experience where you basically need to be careful how much noise you're making, your bullet count, everything else kind of reminds me of like the Metro series. And then they show off this combat trailer that again reminds me a lot of Bioshock 2 cranked up to level 10 because it looks like savage action that looks amazing. I really hope this game is as good as it looks.